8 a.m. Bangkok is moving and so are we. We took our friends to Thailand for the very first time and where better to start than in Bangkok. First stop, Lumpini Park, and then walk the Green Mile to Benjakiti. Lumpini Park is the first public park in Bangkok, and the park is still very popular for people doing outdoor activities such as running, exercising, and doing Tai Chi. Let's walk the Green Mile. So now we're walking on the Green Mile. This is an elevated walkway that connects two of the city's most scenic parks, Benjakiti and Lumpini. This 1.3 km long path is popular among joggers, walkers and cyclists. It is a green, peaceful escape from the bustling city below.
The original Benja Kitty Park was officially opened in 2004 to honor the 72nd birthday of Queen Sirikit. Before that, it had been in operation since 92, the year the Queen turned 60. The name Benja Kitty was given by Queen Sirikit and it commemorates her 60th birthday, which is considered the fifth cycle in the traditional Thai calendar. So the name Benja Kitty translates to five cycles in English. In 2006, a major expansion was approved to create the Benjakiti Forest Park, which added wetlands, rare plant areas and elevated walkways. This expansion was finished in 2022 and made Benjakiti the first park in Bangkok to include a forest park, significantly increasing its size and biodiversity. Our friends really wanted to visit a shopping center in Bangkok and because Terminal 21 is close to Benjakiti Park, that was our next stop. And because it was almost lunchtime, we took the opportunity to introduce them to the Thai cuisine at the Pier 21 food court. What are you having? I'm having the Pad Thai. Pad Thai? Pad Thai? <laughs> It smells delicious.
After walking about 20 kilometers through Bangkok and its beautiful parks, it was time to try something else. Around 5 p.m. we boarded a long tail boat to discover the mighty Chao Phraya river and the Klongs. So we went through the locks to leave the busy Chao Phraya behind us and find ourselves in the more peaceful and quiet Klongs on the west side of the river. Here people live on and along hundreds of canals in wooden houses on high poles above the water. And before the cars, these canals were the main traffic and trade routes in the capital city. Here our boat sailed past the impressive temple Wat Pak Nam, a royal temple in the Pasi Sharun district of Bangkok. Wat Pak Nam was established in 1610 during the Ayutthaya period. In 2012 the building of the huge stupa was completed and in 2021 they finished the construction of the large bronze Buddha image placed in front of the stupa. The Buddha statue and the stupa has made this temple a popular attraction for tourists.
our trip along the Klongs was coming to an end, and in the meantime, the sun had already gone to sleep. Our long tail boat dropped us off at a huge shopping center, Icon Saya. We were here around Chinese New Year, so there were lots and lots of people. Inside the food market, it was really very crowded. So after this yummy snack, the few satés, we decided to have dinner elsewhere. We went to the Northeast restaurant, located on Rama 4 and close to our hotel. We ordered a lot of different dishes, so our friends had a chance to try some more delicious food on their first day in Bangkok. After dinner, it was time to end this beautiful but tiring day and go back to the hotel for some sleep. Tomorrow, there will be another day to explore more of Bangkok. Thank you for watching, take care and see you in the next one.